Warning, the following show features bets placed either by degenerates or under the supervision of degenerates. Accordingly, the hosts and the producers must insist that no one attempt to copy any bets or activity performed on this show. We'll start the show with that. Yeah. All right. You missed some epic talk. I missed some epic talk. Yeah. Firstly, Marcus said he was getting out getting pegged on the um, golf course. Yeah. Well, he, he, he explained how you were a bit late because you were getting pegged too. Um, and then we got into the talk of um, getting a baby to bet on the races. Getting the baby to bet. Yeah. So Marcus is talking about when the baby can crawl, laying out the um, colors so that the baby can choose which dog to bet on. <laughs> oh, we're going to get a play, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a play mat that has a red one, a black and white two, <laughs> a white three, a blue four, a yellow five, a green six, what is it, black seven, and a pink eight. Perfect. Very, very DJ. <laughs> and, and what and what and what we'll do is we will we will put We'll put him, it will, it'll be like a circle, all those numbers. We'll put him randomly in the middle of it and whichever direction. That was great. Then <laughs> he crawls. Oh, yeah, definitely. 100% agree. <laughs> That's so <laughs> right. <laughs> One shot. I think we spin the baby around in circles until it's delirious. Stand it up and then whichever one it falls on. He's like, No, I'm not doing that. James, if you ever have a kid, then you can do that, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Spin the baby around, get them to stand up, and then whatever number they fall on, that's what you bet. Yeah, well, you can do that, but I'm not. Okay, I'm what if it kept? What if you did it and it won, and then you just had to keep doing it? No, exactly. Well, then obviously you keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, I feel like it needs to be said that we are. You not end up winning serious. hundreds of dollars, but you've got to. You've got to end up. You end up making like hun- winning hundreds of dollars, but you've got to spend it on like medical expense bills for the kid. <laughs> the strategy. That's what's yes. likely to happen. You just so. got a bit bigger then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the solution. Bet bigger. You just bet bigger. <laughs> yeah, solid. There you go, done. Well, I don't All think right, betting yeah. bigger right. always is the solution, especially not this week because. Um, exactly. I think that right. um, if we bet bigger this week, we'd be completely wiped out to the extent where someone nearly was wiped out. <laughs> so going through the results, yeah. where should we start with this? <laughs> well, let, let's start with me because I'm pretty easy. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, you lost all I four, lost five everything. multis. I lost five multis. And I you didn't like, just lose by like one leg either. You lost wait, hold substantially. On. You lost almost. one by one leg. Yeah. I lost one by that one. That was over leg. three legs. I mean <laughs> Yeah, but still that would have been handy if that that gets up, that covers everything. Um you were, you lost the others by like almost all the legs. Yeah, I, mean, I know the other you ones got, weren't pretty. You got one one winner, which The lock of the week got up. The luck of the week, yeah, which uh, someone who, if you're going to give out something with such confidence, you would think that you would have actually bet on it. I did, actually. But not in the podcast. Well, I bet I actually bet on it just before the jump when the price got out. Yeah, but on the podcast, which is what we're talking about, 
You well, didn't I bet still, on it, I, so. I had it in the multi, so. Yeah. Because I, I Which was, was so irrelevant. Com- I was so confident of it that I wanted to multi it in the other things. That's why I, that's why I put it in. Well, so you, confident of it that you couldn't bet it yeah. standalone. If you'd just bet it for 50 bucks, you would have had a winning week if you were so confident. No, I like like to swing for the fences instead. That's way way more fun. That's way more to jet. Well, I can't. It makes it a lot more entertaining if you do, so we shall continue to agree with you to do that, yes. Yeah, you can't argue with being a freaking to jet. So, and then, uh, fuck so, me, Milwaukee. Fuck, what a prick of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good tip, wasn't it? Great tip. Fucking dead last. And you backed at the place, so. I know, it finished fucking dead last, a piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. By a mile. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even close. I was just like, what the fuck? I actually was driving somewhere. And pulled over in the car to watch the race, and Ugh, and I almost torture. fuck, I almost like blasted the horn in just fuck in disgust. <laughs> when I thought the race was done, and I was like, "What the hell?" It was traveling so good, and then when the jockey asked for the effort, it was like, oh, "I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to run today." I was like, "What are you doing?" What would have been oh. epic is if he if he did blast the horn and then someone swerved out of fear, <laughs> smashed it. <laughs> it into an his, yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise me if that actually did happen. To be honest, <laughs> ten people dead over his ten dollar multi. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I mean, you were let you were um you they, they let you off with um Flanders rain by um. Scratching it, so at least yeah, you that, was to watch best, that. that was one of your best legs there, Flanders Ring. Yeah, best performing leg, actually. <laughs> <laughs> also out, ironic man. that it has the name Rain in the name, and yet because no, of I the know. rain, they had to scratch it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, horse, that, that horse doesn't do well when it when the track's heavy. So the Pohang anyway. Steelers were clearly um who played FC oh, Soul this who. Was just- Crap. How the hell did they lose? Well, obviously, because they played FC Soul, who had the sex so doll bad. scandal. I should have Pohang been Steelers play. were excited about the sex dolls. I should have bet on the sex toy team. Sex yeah. doll team. I mean, yeah. that's your own stupidity. Yeah. Like, you, even as you did it, I said that. This is true. If you don't support anyway. sex dolls, you're not a degenerate gambler, and you don't. Letting everyone it. down. If yeah. as, as disappointing 100%. as that was. I'm, the one thing that really, really pissed me off was Hoffenheim not winning on Saturday night. That really pissed me off. Why? Well, because that cost me, me and Daffy from winning. It cost everyone. And me. That cost everyone Hoffenheim not winning. Hoffenheim is literally the difference between all of us winning. Yeah, I know. Tepper, Daffy. So bad. Um, <laughs> How they didn't beat Paderborn? Oh my fucking god! Yeah, I um, think if the half time full time had it got up, I would have been in front. Probably. Yeah. So yeah, if it had gone the right way, we all could have won this week. But no, uh, no, literally, we needed Hoffenheim to win, and we were good. Yeah, but That's going back to the goal we... they gave away as well. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck me. So bad. It was as bad as the Pohang Steelers one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, hang on. It was just that, like that. that was the greatest goal ever. Oh, so, oh. we all watched Pohang Steelers oh. versus FC Seoul. And in the first five minutes, FC Seoul oh, managed yeah. to basically fucking give away the easiest goal ever, which was a quite an entertaining start. Yeah, that was and, a nice donation. Uh, yeah, because otherwise you would have got absolutely fucking destroyed. Because they lost 2-1, and that would have been 2-0. Oh, I, 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 I turned the TV off at the 70th minute when that when Sol scored that second goal, because I knew it was done at that point. I didn't even bother watching the rest of it. Well, look, the moral of the story, and for people watching at home, you should write this down, is never bet against a team that puts sex dolls in their stands. Quite clearly, yes. 
I think as we go through the podcast, we should be giving out these life tips for gambling. And that can be life tip number one. In fact, I'm going to write them down so that we can come back to this another day. (laughs) At the end of the, the, the final thing of the podcast, we'll summarize all these life lessons. Wait, we're going to have punting rules. Is that rule number one? Yes. Punting slash life rules. No, these, are, these are punting rules. These are the de- they will call these the gen- No, I think this rules. is general life rules as well. Stuff you should teach your kids. Okay, fair enough. So rule number one, do not bet against a team that puts sex, sex dolls. dolls in their stands. Valuable life lesson. Actually, we can probably even once this um, podcast becomes really successful and everything, we can just write a book of these life lessons. Sell it. Yes, that's true. With some pictures. I agree. Be good so, money. So yeah, you're um. Did we even Kementari lost as well, didn't it? Oh, Kementari was fucked. <laughs> I, I I watched I watched its replay back after. It was never a chance. So basically, outside of um, Alpha Oro, the one horse you picked to win, the rest of your tips basically shit the bed. Like um, no, no, no. You got her to Berlin. I got her to Berlin and Leverkusen. That yeah. was good. Especially yeah, the Leverkusen one. But you didn't back either side, so um, actually, pretty much all. No, no, your I had it. I had Leverkusen shit. in the multi. Yeah, in the multi, but you didn't back them, so bet, all Hoffman your bets were shit. Fucking- if Hoffenheim fucking get up, we're laughing. <laughs> I mean, now. laughing by like being slightly better than break even. <laughs> well, I, I'm probably I'm pro- Hoffenheim get up. I'm triple what I bet. So I don't think so. I don't think you're that much at all. No. Well, anyway, whatever it was, it's two and a half times or whatever. I still. I would have had a winning week if Hoffenheim had a fucking got up. Let me check the results because I don't think that's what it was at all. (laughs) It was to pay like a hundred bucks or something at the most. It was to pay like a hundred and thirty-five bucks or something. I would only. Yeah, it was a hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, but I don't. It was double what he bet. Forty-five bucks for the week. So. Fair enough. Actually, yeah, it's actually nearly three times. Yeah, it was nearly three times. So. So it would have been a substantial return. Yeah, Hoff- would Hoffenheim, have. Win. Hoffenheim win, and I'm fucking laughing. That's I was on the couch losing my shit. But um, what was Hoffenheim. the score in the Hoffenheim game again? Because you make it sound like this is a close loss when I'm um, pretty one- sure they got destroyed. No, no, it was one all. It was one all. Okay. The one all draw. That's why it was so tilting. Perfect. So. I, th- I think that's even better than if they got destroyed. They took so, the lead. In like the first ten minutes or so, and then they gave away the goal. Yeah, let's see, Soul Style. Wow, that's what pissed me like, off. Five minutes like, later, or something. I was in such a good. Uh, I'm sitting there like thirty minutes into both matches, going, "Come on, baby!" I was in a good spot because both teams were up one nil. Yep. And I was like, "Oh, this is tilting. This is pissing me off." So you entered the week with a bankroll of two hundred dollars. You bet 45. Um, and if we just do the maths, um, uh, I'm trying to f- calculate it. That's, you didn't return <laughs> anything. So <laughs> 200 minus 45, I think is 150. Lost. So. I know. Thank you. Right. Move yeah. on. <laughs> you lost 100. Sorry, you lost $45. So yeah, we that's, know that. That's about but 20. We did, we did get a $10 bonus bet. Oh, we don't even know if we did, so... Oh, we, you haven't checked it. Uh, no, it's not there, so... We'll Can see. you look that? Surely I get the... Te- Do I get the $10 bonus bet or not? Uh, to this point, no, you haven't. Why don't I get the $10 bonus bet? Or does that... Because right, you don't count. Money you guys actually won. I have no idea how it works, but um, you didn't get it. It doesn't matter anyway. It's not like it goes to you personally. It would go to the account. Yeah, I know. Right. Anyway, right. Moving that was on. only this morning, so maybe it'll take a while to go in. Yeah, there. I don't even know. sometimes they take a while to pay these things. Anyway, so yeah, fantastic result for you. Thank you. Um, we can go into my ones. 
Because mine started off with what is possibly the win of the round by a mile. Jeju United yeah. versus Daejeon Citizen. The Mighty Citizens. <laughs> and we were all watching this. And yes. what a game. So, um, who remembers what the score was? <laughs> I remember what the score was. was 2-0 like down to 3-2 win. 2-0 down in, and what time was that? That was like... It was like 77 minutes or something, wasn't it? About the 70th something yeah. minute or 70 whatever. minutes into a soccer match. Yeah. So that's like 80% of the oh, match man, gone. The They're down 2-0. And then they managed to come back and win fucking 3-2. What a win. Solid, solid performance. Yeah. It was a good start. So that was a um, yeah. $10 bet for a return of $33.40. AKA yeah, a profit of $23.40. So I was off to a flyer. We then go into Dortmund, who I had $20 on, who beat Wolfsburg, but that's pretty much a given at $1.67. Yeah, they won 2 0. There wasn't anything special about that. Um, and then we go into the next one, Schalke, who lost. Schalke versus Osberg. Yes. Although That's we... right. That was the one we debated, and I said I wanted Augsburg. Thank you. Wanted Schalke. Fuck, we did because given how much we lost as a whole, it's good that we actually earned, we got onto one that was a winner. And well, so you didn't bet Schalke, did you? It was no. only in the multi, right? Yeah, only in the multi. So yeah. Schalke. And we bet Augsburg on the single, and it won. Yeah. So it's a minus 20 on my um, results, but for our bankroll, we didn't lose that money. So that's a benefit. In fact, we won money. So even better. And it was a long shot. So congrats to you on getting some kind of return there. You well, actually finally, really I needed it. I mean, you'd yeah. have been fucked if that didn't happen. <laughs> but we'll get to your results later. <laughs> um then the next game we had was the Paderborn versus Hoffenheim, which, as we all know, we got all got fucked over on. I yeah, love that the lights uh, are flashing on Marcus. Are you getting pulled over? No, no, it's the sun. Oh. It would be so, epic if you got pulled over while doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving on a road where there are a lot of speed cameras. That is for sure. Yeah, speed cameras, though, means they're less likely they're going to pull you over for speeding. That's you're true. not going to have although, a random hidden car. Although I'm, si- although I'm sitting on cruise control at the moment, so that does make everything a lot easier. That's cheating. It is. It'd be epic, so, though, if you did get pulled over and they came and looked at, um, they looked down at your crotch, as all good police people do. Well, if, if, if I get pulled over, then uh, you guys are definitely going to get crutch cam for a fair while. <laughs> <laughs> Put us down your pants and um, let us listen in if you do. You're definitely going to be down my pants, that's for sure. You know what would be hilarious is if you got a cop, you hid the phone down your pants, you get a cop who, like, is going to let you off because they're actually attracted to you and they're, like, a really hot cop and then they're about to undo your pants because they want to blow you. <laughs> in exchange for letting you off and then they see that you've been on a podcast the whole time and the whole thing is captured <laughs> we can only dream that would be the greatest fucking podcast oh. footage ever if that could happen so let's hope you get pulled over by a hot cop who wants to give you a blow. that would be somewhat funny alright yeah gonna happen alright and my final bet was the multi of the all, which um Actually, no, it wasn't. Um, there's was the multi of them all, which didn't get up. But then I managed to fuck up putting the bets on and accidentally backed Alpha Oro for ten dollars, which I'm taking as my bet, which I said I would take before <laughs> the race. So, um, yeah, and um, it won. So that was a solid return of twenty one dollars and seven cents. So the profit was eleven bucks on that, basically. So, um, I, out of $200, managed to lose $5.53. So, you did fuck all, basically. Um, I substantially outperformed both of you, so there's that. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it, My performance was nine it. times better than yours, so to say yeah, fuck all, actually, I think that you're delusional. 
So you actually won. No, no, no. I lost five dollars and fifty three cents. You lost lost forty five dollars. Yeah, but I substantially outperformed you by losing less. You still lost. I lost. No, it's not. There is a fucking massive difference in losing a little bit that it's minuscule and losing a lot. Like our but you still lost, correct? I lost, but I lost lot less than you. So actually, technically, out of all three of us, I was the winner this week. <laughs> you were the winner by losing the week. Yes. I actually think the guest bankroll was the winner of the week. Yeah, I yeah, agree. But unless we get a guest this week, then that's irrelevant. But we the may have a guest. That didn't bet was the winner. And yeah. Because uh, breaking even. Is uh, than th- there was no, the there, but there's no person there, so therefore I am the winner. So thank you very much. I won. I don't anyway, think so. Let's, um, let's I outperformed both of you. I outperformed out, all competitors. You didn't outperform the guests. I outperformed all competitors. So the leaderboard says guest is first at breaking. The leaderboard even. doesn't have the guest yet because the guest <laughs> hasn't even entered. The guest is the guest is the winner. No guest has entered yet. So officially, there is no guest. The guest bankroll is sitting there with 100% of what they started with. There is yeah. no guest to have the guest bankroll. So, no, there isn't. But the money's in the account. So, they haven't gonna... written down guest yet in the leaderboard. So, no, it doesn't count. <laughs> so, Pretty officially, sure I won't. Well, if that's what you need to do to claim being a winner, then. Um, I believe that's two weeks in a row, so... Two weeks in a row, okay. I mean, here's the thing. I could, have just, I could have just not bet on anything and I would have beaten you. There's no but fun But you in didn't. That. But you didn't. So, the there guest you go. Did. That's what but the guest <laughs> There is no guest to say the guest did. Well, maybe they were smart enough to not come on the podcast and not bet so they could be the winner. I agree with that. Well, anyway, out of the hosts, I still won, so... Anyway, moving on. What did Andrew do? So I do still this beat. Week? I beat everyone present here. So uh, still anyway, that. move on. Who cares? We all. You, you lost. I lost. Let's see what Andrew. <laughs> He's actually mad. <laughs> I won across the two weeks as well by a mile. Oh, Mark, who cares? Come on, let's <laughs> move on. Andrew didn't even win enough this week to cover. To uh, sorry, Andrew lost so much this week that last week's <laughs> losses didn't even cover. His losses this week. Last week's losses. I won last week. No, 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 no. Your losses from this week. Yeah. Were so much that the little you won last week didn't cover it. Oh, really? That's disappointing. Yeah. So across the two weeks, you're in the hole. No good. Unlike Marcus and I, who were across the two weeks are actually in the positives. And mine I substantially so. Disappointing. Anyway, so yeah, you had some um What's next? Bets. So uh, we're not What? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm, just, like, I'm talking to you boys. It to me it sounded like he was talking to himself. That's why I'm what? Um okay, so Andrew had Suwon Blue Wings versus Incheon United over 2.5 goals, which I believe you you claimed was the bet of the week. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you did. If we no, don't think want us to go back and listen to it because I think we can find it. If you think you can, but I don't think I ever said that. Definitely said it. Um, We can add that in later. (laughs) Um. Then you had FC Smolovici, which, um, again, we were very race. lucky that they yeah, it got postponed. So, yeah. very back. lucky that that was cancelled. Probably another loss. Statistically, it would have been a loss. Um, then you had Freiburg. <sighs> yeah, that, that was not good. What happened? They lost. How? Uh, it was 1-0, I believe, if one I'm not nil. mistaken. And then they had a goal that was ruled off by VAR. I think that was the game. I was Brutal. watching the other game, but I was getting the scores of that one. Brutal. Um, but, yeah, they were never clearly. Like, then you had Hoffenheim. Yeah, and Hoffenheim took the lead. As we all know. Fucked up. Yeah. 
Um, then you had Augsburg, which was your solid victory. Finally, yeah. The only yeah. thing that's keeping you almost in this podcast because <laughs> you would have actually been completely. Bet, I didn't bet all the bankrolls. I was still came be fucking in close. The <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> you bet a hundred and eighty of your two hundred. <laughs> Was it? I didn't think yes. it was that much. I thought it was like 165. No, it was 180. So, <laughs> if Augsburg didn't win, you would have been down to $20. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In week one. <laughs> <laughs> I, do remember, I do remember saying they can't all lose. <laughs> you were very, oh, very, very lucky <laughs> and very close that that wasn't actually proven accurate. Um, then you had, um, Baines, draw no bet. No, no, never happens. <laughs> Next. What was the score in that game? Next, I don't what, remember. What was the score? Sorry, I can't remember. I don't remember. Oh, it's a good thing I have Google here so we can get the exact score. Andrew, what message did you send me at like half to- at the end of the match? Or I about- said, I said the 5 0 loss flattered them, is what I yeah. said. Yeah. Yes, 5 0. You said it should be closer to 20 0 as oh, well. Oh, they were so bad. <laughs> they, well, they didn't even try and score a goal. And Leipzig were just like screwing with them. They just like had their whole like entire team getting into the box, just toying with them. It was disgusting. Well, was it Leipzig are a bloody interna- solid Awful. side. Awful. Well, they, they weren't good last week, so. I, Thought maybe the um, the whole coronavirus situation has um, had an effect on the players, and they just weren't going to be up for it. But yeah, no, wrong. Yeah, but in theory, week two they should be bouncing back a bit from. Well, it depends if the players if the players have just taken the time off and sort of slacked off a bit, then it's not going to be easy to get right back into it. But yeah, no, that was that was wrong. And then you took Colin, FC Colin. Yeah. That was at least they, a draw, uh, so you didn't lose yeah, too hard. That was a terrible performance, to be honest. You also took 1 0. So yeah, well, I because know. I didn't think Dusseldorf were good enough to score, to be honest. Well, you got that wrong. Yeah, they I did get twice. that wrong. <laughs> I did score twice. Yeah, <laughs> because Colin were terrible. I don't know what the hell they were doing. It's bad. It's a very bad week. Then you managed to throw it all in for a five dollar multi, which also which <laughs> got like two legs or something. So out of um a two hundred dollar bankroll, you bet one hundred and eighty, leaving you twenty. You did manage to win one bet, which was fifty six dollars and twenty five cents. Yep. So you now have a bankroll of seventy six dollars and twenty five cents. Seventy six twenty five. Yep. That's all right. We've got a ten dollar bonus bet that we'll get paid at some point as well. Not for you. Yeah, it's for the team. That's as right. the whole, yeah, but yeah, not for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, but we said oh, if you bust oh, your oh, account, oh, you get a third oh, of the bonus. I multi for that bonus bet. What? Eight leg multi for that bonus bet. Eight leg. Yep. What are, What are we gonna do with it, actually? No, we're going to gamble them ourselves. We'll use them for the bets. So if should he we, does, if he has an eight-leg multi, we'll bet it. Should we give it to the guest? Instead of the... Uh, but then they get in the bankroll. <laughs> What's that? The, well, They're so using the bankroll. So we got to well, use the, the multi... The $50 to bet, right? We're going to give them 50 I love oh, the bank... We're giving a guest a third of the guest bankroll, aren't we? Okay, yeah. Wasn't that what we said? Yeah, so they can start with 50. So, yeah, so like the, this week's guest gets 50 bucks to bet with. Yeah. And then next week's guest gets a third of whatever the new guest bankroll is to bet with. Yeah. But I think and the um, bonus bets we should be using for multis. I use agree. The, I agree. It, but use decide? it for one of his DGen multis is where we actually place it. Yeah, no, I agree. But who who decides... What the, um, whatever the highest value the multi of the week is. All right, the okay. more legs, 
the, the biggest leg. I'll do an eight or ten. So what leg happens multi, is that means that we have ten dollars put aside. If we get a ten dollar bonus bet, that means that we keep ten dollars that we're not actually gambling on our own thing. If that makes sense because we're getting rid of it with the bonus bet. No, it's just another bet. Anyway, who cares? No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Who cares about the technicalities? We care about the technicalities because we we're going to figure out how we're going to do this shit. But yeah, I oh, think we, we, we placed the bonus bet. So from our record keeping that goes out of Marcus's thing, but into the actual account, that $10 was used as a bonus bet rather than using $10 of cash. Yeah, of course. It counts as one of my bets. Okay, but that's fine. But you don't get the stake back in a bonus bet. Yeah, but you still get the bet is still placed. Well, so if the bet wins, then we haven't got anything extra. Well, if the bet wins, it's going to be a fuckload of money, so yeah. it's not going to be a problem. <clears throat> I mean, it absolutely could be a problem. Just because Marcus gets up to 3K doesn't mean that he can't <laughs> lose it. It's ten dollars out of three k. We can worry about the ten dollars extra, which we're gonna eventually come off with other parts anyway. We're not gonna give a fuck about ten dollars if we win three k. Yeah. So... Because, because this week the NRL payout thing at halftime means that there is a good chance that multiple bets are gonna win that don't win in the bankroll, that don't win in our recording. Right, so, okay, so what happens if, say, I have $10 on a team paying threes. Yes. That gets paid out because of that, that loses. So there's $30 more in the account than, in theory, there would be. Yeah. So what, what happens to that 30 bucks? We keep it, and it's a side thing. So it just sits there? Yeah. What? Okay. Because we want to build the bankroll up because if you had lost that other fucking bet, we'd now be looking at what the fuck do we do? And what if every guest keeps losing all that kind of shit? We need some way of rebuying or something. Yeah, and we said if you bust your bankroll, you get a third of all of the other stuff. Yeah. So, say I bust my bankroll, but we had that extra $30 and my new bankroll is the big $10. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense for the ones that are paid out in cash. But the ones that are paid out in bonuses, you don't get anything extra. But we, we should use the bonuses on the multis. The wildest multis we use for the bonuses. That's what okay. we're going to do. So you have, you'll have lost $10. You only have extra money in the account if it loses though yeah but if it wins because it's going to be the highest value multi it's always going to be four figures plus yeah so, but if it so loses if it loses then we don't lose the money so we've actually added ten dollars to our bankroll into our um, account into that is not account. represented in our bankrolls yep we're gonna have right. more in the account because of the bonus that's fine it's just yeah whether, uh, i'm good with that just... i'm good doing it like that because this way we're always building the actual cash in the account. Yeah, that's and fine. And then, yeah. All it's right, okay if what our records for the bets are, are different to what's in the account. That doesn't matter. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, okay. And so then the... Okay, so like we had a conflicting bet. Did you put both of those in what the bankrolls are or not? Yeah, yeah. So they both counted towards our results, but they don't count into the cash and the thing. They don't count. So, so yeah, again, technically we're, so um, you I think we're $20 have, ahead already. So we're $20 ahead. So if somebody busts, they get... Six dollars sixty-seven is their new bankroll. Yes, <laughs> six dollars. All right, so I can bet it all, and I'll still have six bucks. <laughs> so I'm all right, and then yes. I can have like a whole bunch of one-dollar bets if I bust. Daddy, Daddy, yes. Are you betting the rest of your bankroll this week? Well, now that I know that I'm guaranteed at least six dollars, then yeah, absolutely. Six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Six dollars, I'll have at least um, how much <clears> is that? Four dollars. You can have six 
you can put 67 cents on a multi. 67 oh, cents. It's $6.67. That's heaps of money. I can do s- like six or seven multis. <laughs> One dollar yeah. multis. No yeah. worries. Yeah, and then works. I can have another four next week. 20, 20 leg esports multis. All right. So I'm getting ready to bust this week. <laughs> Sounds good. Busting this Looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Marcus. I thought Marcus was going to be the one losing it on that. It's going to be me. Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm betting it off. <laughs> yeah, well, your your approach is wild as fuck to bet that much of it. Yeah. So it's only a couple hundred bucks, so I'm willing to be a bit silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, there's the whole um, hominy side of everything, so it's... <laughs> Keeping things right. nice and entertaining. So yeah. what are we? So, so what are we looking? So what well, are we it's looking a forward to? If we all just bet five dollars on single on even money shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to be a bit silly. <laughs> I mean, right, we got some so, wild shit in here. So. So what are we looking forward to for the pot for our next podcast, which, which, which is going to be out a little bit earlier next week. Sorry, this, this week. week I should say. This week. So yeah, you know, so, there's more Bundesliga games tomorrow night. They've got midweek this week. That's going to be too hard to track. Oh, are, are we just going <laughs> to skip them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing. <clears throat> there's games Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Yeah, but and we're not the recording the podcast well. until Wednesday, so. Yeah, so we can do Wednesday night games though. So, so when this won't come out. So it when, won't come out before. It'll probably come out on Thursday. So it's really gonna have to be Thursday onwards. So let's just not do the Wednesday night games then. No, no. All right. So it's Thursday onwards. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Yeah, because I mean, if people are actually gonna watch this, we don't want to be putting bets out that have already that have already happened. Yep. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Since people will oh, be at home taking we notes put and out looking bets to copy that had already bets. happened last week, though, with our live betting on the podcast that wasn't live, though. Yeah, but that was just entertaining to watch us win or lose. And <laughs> I, I forget who won those again. Sorry. Um, we all no, I don't remember. Nah, nah, we did not all lose. We definitely did not all lose because um, some of us happened to win. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not worried no, about. No, what. no, there is no anyway. Um, I believe I won those. We bets, didn't have so. any money on that. So it I did. Matter. Oh shit! I, I had money on it. I was betting on it. I everything. absolutely did. You yeah, saw it in my account. Right on. I'd, you I'd had money on it too. I don't, like I don't understand. All three of us bet on those races. Remember, it was to win like three grand on that. Random horse. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were punched really. on that, that random yeah. shit. Yeah, you know, that's right. And one yeah. was actually half a chance with two hundred meters to go. That's right. Yeah. That was the one to win like three thousand. That was gonna win like three K and that yeah. just fucking We we <laughs> also was... have um on Thursday night is the Australian Duck League, so sorry. Oh, well, I'll definitely have to place a bit on that then. The Duck League. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did see this the other the other week. That was Yeah, I think they have it on Thursdays, so um we have yeah. time to um bet on it on the podcast next on the next podcast. So the second All podcast right. of the week. So un- so we've had a good review. We all lost this week, which wasn't great. No, but some of us lost a lot more than others, so... It wasn't okay. great, but with the Duck League coming up, we're going to turn it around, so... No turn it around with the Duck League. The Duck League is where it's at. I mean, if that... <coughs> that I'll could do be the form on the Duck I League. And get it done. I reckon there's going to be a bias to the highest... Huh? Is there, is there any I... way we can watch a stream of previous Duck Racing? Yeah, it's all on there. <clears throat> it's all on um on their webs on the ADL like the, Facebook page. The, the past streams though. Yeah, if you go to yeah. um ADL on um Facebook, ADL okay. Australian du- Duck League, it yeah. has a recording of every race. All right, I'll take a look at it, and I'll do so the form. You, on. Daffy, can you do the form for the Duck League and get back to I'm us? Ab- I'm absolutely doing the form. I'll let you boys know on Wednesday. He's gonna win. The informed uh, opinion, and if we can get the um, if we can get the uh, the guest on, it'd be good to get them having a bet on the um, on Duxton. the duck league. Yeah, yeah. Guest definitely has to bet on the duck league. Yeah. 
Without money. Without money, yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully we actually get this guest, whoever it is, on. If we, we can get the guest on, it'll be amazing. <laughs> um, otherwise, we might have to just wait another week. But um, week. Yep. All right. Well, hopefully. Because we, we pretty certainly have a guest locked in for next week to bet with our money. So. All right. I think we should just do like a quick summary, too, of what we're doing. So that if someone turned tuned in at this point and had no idea what the fuck we're doing. <coughs> so to start with, we're doing two episodes a week. A podcast at the end of the week is where we're giving out our tips. We each started with $200. Um, and then we've also put in $50 each to create a guest bank account. So if we get guests on, they can bet with our money. Um, send, can... send, send, us, send a message to the podcast and we'll, we'll get you on and you might be able to have a punt with our money. Yeah, I think that if, if anyone is actually watching this and wants to come on or thinks they know better, one, you can comment below any tips or um, bets that you think should be placed, but two, or any obscure um, shit that we could bet on. Um, yeah. But there has to be markets for it on actual websites for us to be able to do that. But yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah if you want to come on and you think you're better than us, which you're not, but if you for some reason thought that you were... Um, better than us um firstly we would help you get yourself checked into a mental institution to get checked out but um secondly we would actually bring you on the show and let you bet with our money yep we'll let, yeah we'll let, definitely we'll take let. random guests as the guest bankroll 100 yeah. percent. anyone from anywhere Amazing. but you don't get to keep the money though it's our money you if you win our cash yeah you so can, you can degenerately cash. gamble our money and lose Yes, <laughs> our money. You can lose our money for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Marcus has a lot of trouble losing his money, so he needs your help to lose more of it. I need your help. <laughs> we should do like one of those um PSA things where they're like, "I need your help to lose money." Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It's too hard to lose my own money, so I need your help. I need your help. One other oh, thing yeah. I thought we could do, which I saw on um, TV, I don't know if you've seen that um, Australia Post have got this campaign going on where you can write a letter and whatever about how you're handling the, um, the uh, lockdown situation so that in future people can um, refer back to it and read these letters. I have no fucking idea what, who or what is going to actually read the letters, but so that people in the future can come back and see what people did during the lockdown. And I really think that as a podcast, we gambled we should... on duck <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we gambled on everything. Let's be honest. Yeah, but we gambled on some random person throwing rubber ducks in a um, river. Is a lot better. Yeah, that is true. Dear people of the future, we gambled on yeah that, and we also gambled on um, the tie of the prime minister. How many times the prime minister said Australians in the um? In his speech, um, what else have we gambled on? Random shit that we, we have no idea about. Yeah, we've Marcus gambled on did the form. form. I did the form, and it was all good. So I don't think you can say it was all good. <laughs> it was all good. It was all good. It really well. <laughs> yeah, it was all good, and that's why every bet lost. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them almost won. It's good stuff. <laughs> you got to celebrate the near wins. Yeah, exactly. That's that's another piece of life advice, I think. Celebrate the near wins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to, um, I'm going to phrase it as you'll probably lose. So it's important to celebrate the near wins. The near wins. Yep. Yeah. Same with that, right? <laughs> Two legs out of three. <laughs> really, really good. It's difficult to get two out of three legs right <laughs> on five on one of five multis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of five had two out of three, so you know. You look at those well, numbers. Yeah, well, that's why you celebrate that one because it almost won. Yeah. So one of five that's is twenty percent. Then, enough, so like, celebrate that. Yeah. Could it be? 
I think you should just like multiply the numbers so that you get the proper um well percentage. of the eight things that I had in a whole bunch of multis, only three of them got up. Yes. Oh so that's, sorry, there was that's, seven because one got scratched, so only three of them won. That's three. not even fifty percent. Three. Okay, three of them won. Points? Yeah, it's free. Oh, yeah. The two soccer games and then... I had the two Oro. soccer games and Alpha Oro. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. I had one winning legs. Yeah. <laughs> you had a winning bet. So you actually had a yeah, winning bet, unlike winning Marcus. Bet. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah. <laughs> if we were just counting the um, winning bets, then you would have beat Marcus. Thank God for Augsburg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Better <laughs> ROI. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Oh. I mean, the POT profit on turnover is pretty fucking low, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. I love how the mine but... says just negative 100% on everything. Yeah, are, we well, including, had... are we including last week's in the total running? No. No, because remember last week we were using the random things. If we were including last week, we we're still way up, thanks to me. But, we're um... not. We're not including it. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, we can't. All right. Fair enough. Right. So let's move on to let's move on to uh, this weekend or later this week's action. Do we, what do we have coming up? Well, we have NRL back. So. So we have NRL. What else do we have to bet on? Um. Let me still find... more German Bundesliga, Korean soccer, Bund- um, Belarusian soccer. Dark racing. Oi, what happened to Seaman? Is Seaman back? Seaman doesn't seem to be there. So he's not coming up on the search. Was there tennis, was there? Of course there's going to be some type of tennis. I mean, you got Ukrainian Cup of Table Tennis on right now. Yeah, that's true. We're also... Only two weeks away from AFL returning, so we we I eagerly anticipate the return of that. So yeah, not long until we got some real stuff. So that's good. We can we can go all in on the um, Premiership now and just w- wait until it happens. Go all in on the Premiership. Yeah, yeah. great just idea. Just the money tied up for the rest. Of the <laughs> Put yeah. seventy six twenty five on the um on Freo to win the pr- flag. That's my bankroll is at seventy six twenty five. Yeah. At what price? On Frio. I don't even think they have the markets up at oh wait, do they? All right, let's find out. Richmond are favorite at four dollars fifty. Frio are paying a solid eighty one dollars, so <laughs> if you were to put seventy six twenty five on it you would win six thousand one hundred and seventy six dollars and twenty five cents. Five six grand or something. I just said six thousand one hundred. Yeah yeah. Yeah. So um yeah I mean that's a way to win the, this competition. I agree. Couldn't agree more. It's a great I'm idea. gonna win the competition. Yeah because I'll probably idea. win about six K so if you get six thousand one hundred that's probably gonna be enough to cover it. I mean Marcus hey. will be out I'm gonna have I'm gonna have multis get up at like a thousand to one. Dude, I, I strongly think they doubt have that. same game multi promo on the NRL as well. They always do, so yeah, they would. It was like three legs, and you get it two win. You get your yep. bonus bit. Three leg yeah. multi. Yep, you get your money back. Yeah. So All right. well, that's I'll a nice way to seventy six twenty five. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, we've got plenty of interesting games on too for it, so... I look forward to at least have $6 afterwards, so... (laughs) I look forward to doing this one for this week, and we are going to come up with some winners for for all of you out there. Yeah, make sure you write them down properly. We've got plenty of of esports on too. Yes. I think I might steer clear from the esports, to be honest. It's the LOL mid-season cup. Yeah, nah, I'm sticking off the, the eSports. What about Global StarCraft 2 League? No, no eSports. From no the... eSports? What is this? No, because you can't even watch it, can you? You can, yeah. They're, most okay, of them are streamed well, okay. on YouTube. Even, even if I was watching it, I wouldn't know what's happening. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, so, a, that's a problem no when you bet on it. At least the other stuff we get to watch and sweat. You do get to hear the um, commentator and kind of gauge from the commentator, but other than that... Yeah, no, I'm going to pass. Otherwise, you've got MasterChef some, Australia. I'm going to come up with some pretty degenerate racing to punt on on Friday afternoon. have after no that. doubt that you're going to do it. <laughs> 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 you could always go all in on Amelia Jackson to win um, MasterChef at a dollar seventeen. Well, it's probably already happened, and she's probably already won it. But you got to yeah. Well, it does it. say program is pre-recorded and results may be known in advance. Yeah. So, <laughs> so she's given won- that there is um fucking like twelve or fifteen people listed here. They clearly, if she's a dollar seventeen, clearly it cannot. It has to be already known because there is no fucking way. Even if you, even if she was the greatest chef ever, there is no way that anyone would be that confident to say that she, that those are the right odds. She's yeah. It it will be already leaked that she's won, no doubt. Um, you can bet on Skomo's tie for Friday. Ooh, that's on Friday, so. Thursday, on um, Wednesday's podcast, we can I get in. We'll some... I, I think I think I think we'll get. I think we'll, I'll definitely have that in a multi. <laughs> <laughs> can you put that in a multi? I don't think you're allowed to do that. That's why bullshit. can't I bet on Scomo's tie in a multi? Because they have maximum payouts of five hundred bucks by law on markets like that. Yeah, mistake. but that's for that. That's just for that one. Le- that's just for that one leg. Okay, if you want to have Ooh. a side bet, I'm going to side bet you that you're not allowed to put it in a multi. I will. I will take that side bet. I'll okay, bet you. So I how can. much? How much do you want to bet that you can't I'll, put that leg into a multi? We'll have, we'll have a cheeky tenner on that one. Okay. Thanks for the ten dollars. <laughs> we'll find out afterwards. Yeah. So you, you're betting I can't put scope. Can we take this ten dollars from Marcus's bankroll and put it into mine when we prove that he's wrong? Well, I can prove it right now. So we're actually getting live on the podcast. So I'm just going to throw in a multi. Um, I'm put, I've put in there blue just to, so we can figure this out. Then we're going to go into some random ice hockey that's coming up. Yeah. So it won't actually cost you $10, Mark. Your it's selections it's cannot be combined. Way. Yeah, there you There's go. multi bet. So there you go. What? Yeah. I'm happy to, yeah, I'm happy to take the $10 as um, move it into my bankroll so it doesn't actually cost you money. Well, that's fucking retarded. Well, you can decide if you want to give me $10 or if you want to uh, just give me $10 to you've gamble it, with. You've got it one way or the other. It doesn't matter. Do what you want with well, it. Well, the thing is... Okay, you're taking it, it in this. It's actually costing me money. Yeah, anyway. You can have it You can have it part of my bankroll. All right, beautiful. I've got 86 25 to play <laughs> <laughs> What a terrible bet. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Let, let's be honest, you're going to end up betting 100 bucks this week anyway, and we're just going to give you the extra $13. No, can't go over the bankroll. That would be cheating. We'll be, yeah. we'll be going over the bankroll. Don't worry. What there are you is talking about? Cheating. There is, you can't. You can't Unless cheat. you want to give him the extra $13 out of your thing. If you want you to can't. give me more money to gamble with, we can do that. But <laughs> do you want to give him the 13 huh? well, let, Let's see what he bets on. Let's see if we'll allow him to bet on something. You're just going to give him the... You're just going to give him the extra $13. Oh, who knows? We'll work it out. We've got to come up with what to bet on. So, Well, um, what I've discovered is that also is that so next Thursday is July 4th, oh, which, God. as you know, is a big one in the world of betting, possibly the biggest day, um, because we do have the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Is that actually on? Yeah, they do. Fuck no. <laughs> well, it's yeah. on here as a bet, so I'm assuming yes. Is, is Joey Chestnuts the favourite to win? Um, let me find it. I had it up before. Here we go. I mean, it's listed. Yeah, of course, Joey Chestnut is. Joey Chestnut is a dollar fifteen. The field is six. What? What is? It? What's the over under on how many hot dogs he has? I don't have that, unfortunately. Oh, fuck, come on. they got to have that. I'd be surprised if they're even doing it this year. Though. Yeah, I don't think they will. Uh, they might do it online. Like, that knob eating contest was done online. Okay. There was some UK thing where it was called the knob eating contest. I don't even know what a knob is, but in that term. Um, but apparently there's some food called a knob. 
not mm, also okay. being slack for slang for a dick. Um, but yeah, they um. <laughs> but seriously, it is UK slang for a dick. Um, we do know that. Thanks for letting yeah, well, us all know. We may have people from I don't know Philippines who don't know English slang. That's true. Like it's not even well, super common here to use that as slang. So. Also, mine anyway. Okay. Let's move well, on. I'm reading um the number one news source in the world, TMZ, and it says that Nathan's <laughs> hot dog contest in doubt, but I'm still training is what Joey Chestnuts has exclusively told TMZ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He says, uh, and I, I quote, yeah. last week I did like eight pounds of cucumbers. I feel like I'll be fair ready enough. when the con- contest starts. Eight pounds of cucumbers, fair enough. Right. It would suck not to do it in front of a huge crowd, but there'll still be people watching and I'll still be able to be happy. Yeah. He said that he's basically... Ahead. Well, no, he's basically said if it's cancelled, he'll do a solo eating show for America because that's what America <laughs> needs right now is a man eating an excessive amount of hot dogs. You're feeling bad about the coronavirus. Loved ones have died. Joey Chestnut will eat hot dogs for you. you know, maybe, you. maybe your grandmother is on her deathbed. Um, well, she's in a ventilator. She's got coronavirus and AIDS as well from some dodgy sex she had um, in, a, <laughs> in a crappy brothel. And she's there struggling to breathe. But she gets to see as her last view, Joey Chestnuts eat his 75th hot dog on zoom but it's buffering because he has shitty internet (laughs) (laughs) it's what dreams are made of that's all we can hope for in 2020 is that if your grandmother goes out doing what she loved watching joey chestnut suffering for her horrible sex life look forward to it yep joey chestnut american hero the hero Uh, we need until until Wednesday. Yes. <clears throat> Look out for yeah. our podcast on Thursday because we still can't live stream thanks to the NBN. Fucking cunts. <clears throat> you still haven't got back to me since last Wednesday. So solid. Probably going to be a week of no contact from two people not showing up. So <laughs> nothing but great service. It will be good at some point when we can actually live stream this thing. It'd be a lot better, especially when this is fucking timely information too. Yes. I mean, if we're going to be betting on games, like we're wiping out that whole th- um, Wednesday night of games that we, if we were going live, we could actually bet on. But yes. because we have to pre-record, we're recording on Wednesday and then have to push it out on Thursday, which is just yeah. not right. So in summary, yeah. the NBN accounts. Yeah. So no matter where you are in the world, you should feel entitled to sue the NBN because they're costing you money by not being able to bet. And if you're an old person dying of Corona, that's probably going to add a little bit of extra stress and kill you. So again, that's more blood on the NBN's hands. And they don't yeah. even care. And they don't even care. They don't show up. They don't care. They don't return calls. No one does anything. Same standard. And then this guy minimizes it like it's okay with comments like that that are so hurtful. Don't you feel <laughs> some of our pain? People out here are suffering. They got coronavirus. All they want is one last bet before they die. What if, what if you had coronavirus and you're going to die on Wednesday night? And because of NBN, you can't watch your favorite podcast because it's posted on a Thursday. You die on a fucking Wednesday night and you miss out on your final bet because NBN are jerks. Well, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> Jesus. You just that was my attitude. Yeah. So that's the kind of attitude that causes these situations. Exactly. And that's the true yeah. suffering of um, coronavirus is people not being able to get bets on. Yep. It is. It's true. Never thought yeah. about it like that, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. On that note, I think we have to let yeah. you go. Um, hopefully, if you are dying of coronavirus, you can make it through to Thursday. Um, <coughs> if you die on Wednesday, please let us know so we can directly <laughs> tell the NBN that this person missed out on their favorite bets because of the NBN oh, and their di- last dying wish. We'll probably get it engraved on your um, gravestone too. 
Yep. Murdered by the NBN. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't get to put his favorite final bet on because the NBN are jerks. I just want yep. fuck the NBN on my gravestone. <laughs> Imagine how good that would be in like a hundred years' time. Some random people are walking through a graveyard. <laughs> NBN is no longer a thing, and then they see this gravestone that just says he died, and then it says fuck the NBN. You're like, what the hell was with this person's life? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't live stream my podcast because of the NBM. Fuck those cunts. Yep. What if I um, die in between Wednesday and Thursday and then the, the podcast never gets posted and we gave out some insane bets that all these people would have won money on? That is a good point. Yeah, that is, is a good point. And the NBN uh, don't even care. Like life changing. Yeah. Life changing for a lot life of people. Changing and they've just ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Until then. Happy See, someone just wants to get off because he just doesn't care about. I've got this. to go and do the freaking form. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is what an actual on a degenerate night? gambler does. Is there races on a Monday night? Of course, there's dogs <laughs> at harness racing going oh, right dog. now. <laughs> I thought you were only doing horses. That doesn't like, mean I can't bet on know. random shit. Okay. Gotta do the form on the whatever. Gotta running. do the form to place the thirty seconds. All right, I'm leaving. I'm off to punt. Chateau Briant is running in um forty five minutes. Off. Oh. And he's left. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to get that thirty seconds. You know that he's a total DJ when he literally cannot. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot finish the podcast because he needs to bet a few dollars. <laughs> I, I think that summarizes the whole podcast as it is. The fact that one of the hosts can't even finish the podcast because he has to bet he's so that much. much of a DJ. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. Sucks. On All that right. note, it's yeah. come time. <laughs>